this bad. Alright guys, what's happening? We're at Pops Shop to give a quick little update on the Cobra, see how everything turned out. And boy did this snowball. What started off as us just trying to fix a few little spots on the paint just to make it look decent, which is still the goal, just make it look decent so that it, you know, a, a decent like 10-15 footer. That's all I want. Um, it has snowballed <laughs> into, this is now day uh five i think uh and we ended up painting the whole car so here is the car we ended up painting it all championship white uh because it was the easiest quickest to get to uh on such short notice and i think it turned out pretty decent we ended up just taping over these stripes i was going to peel them off and buy new stripes but when you get close to it you can see all the imperfections in the paint and that nice new shiny crisp stripe would have looked really out of place there so i decided to just tape that one off keep kind of the ratty aged look kind of fits the aesthetic of the car and we had to paint everything else so the bumper and the uh, driver's fender i had already painted but i painted it in a different white and that was kind of what led to us deciding to paint the whole car was i was worried that we would push it out into the sunlight and it would be super obvious that there was like three different shades of white or whatever uh so we were like you know what screw it we've gone this far let's just scuff the whole thing up and squirt some white on it you know just a quick scuff and squirt <laughs> and uh all in all i think like from here it hasn't been wet sanded or buffed or anything like that which i probably will do there's a few spots that need it but from here i think it looks pretty darn decent which again is the entire goal there's a few little like tape lines around the windshield and everything that uh need to be cleaned up and when you get close to stuff you can see some of the imperfections but that's not the point of it it's going to be like a drag and drive car it's not going to be a show car um like you can see on the bumper here where we just went over that the hood looks pretty decent tried to uh make that look as good as we could not like as good as we could but tried to make it look pretty presentable at least on par with everything else here's the fender i think this turned out actually better than uh the first time i did it because the first time i did it when i painted it you could see a bunch of the sanding swirl marks which was driving me nuts <laughs> Um, and then here's the passenger fender. I think it, I think I'm going to be happy with it. So the only thing, um, we have to do is put it all back together and then, uh, down the road, I'll probably wet sand it and wheel it out, try and make it look a little bit better. But all in all, I think, uh, for a quick little garage paint job, uh, I would give it a six and a half out of 10. Like you can see. The spot there that I need to clean up and inside the mirror there, there's a little bit up here where the tape wasn't pressed on all the way, I guess. And uh, just some stuff like that. But if you guys remember how this thing looked before, there was a huge bare spot right here and uh, a little bit back here. Up here, under the paint, there's still some imperfections, but I'm really happy with it. It, uh... It's a perfect race car paint job. And then remember this side had that huge bare spot and then back here on the by the tail light. And I will specify this time because if I don't, someone's going to say something. He did wear respirator when we sprayed it this time. <laughs> but yeah, I think, uh, I think the darn thing's pretty dang good. So like I said, down the road, I'm going to have to wet sand and wheel it out. And then we'll put the badges on. But I think for now, we're good enough to get it sat back together get the hood on and then we actually have to move another truck in here to pull the engine out of that for a guy and then he's going to take that rebuild the engine and then we're going to put it back in for him he just doesn't have the time to uh do the r and r and then i have to head back to my place and get to work on jack replacing the head gaskets and head bolts on that all right got the car mostly bolted together look at that thing sheesh just have to put the hood on, antenna, cobra badges, this little guy down there we still have to paint. But man, 
Look at this thing. This thing looks like a hundred bucks. <laughs> Look at the front of that. This thing looks tough, dude. Heck yeah, man. The gaps are okay. This fender is a little weird. Actually, both fenders are a little weird, but I think that's just mass production for you. Listen to this door close. Boom. So, I think I'm going to try to fit an F-body radiator in here uh, at some point, because the outlet for this is right where the uh, downpipe crosses. It's, it would go, like, right into it. I could probably cut and weld this to go, like, almost straight up. Um, but I think if I get an F-body radiator, it'll probably be a lot better. Or I'll just get the same one that we have in Jack, because that one seems to work amazing. And then uh, we can continue mocking things up. Well, I like to start finish installing stuff at some point. Man, I just can't help myself, but look at this thing. Can't wait to get this hood bolted on as soon as he's done messing around in my hind end back there. All right, got the hood on. Ended up taking the uh, stock hood latch off. I'm gonna put some pins on it. Yeah, for the pins, we got the same style that we have on Jack here, just these ones, which I like these a lot. We get these on Amazon pretty cheap. I think they're like 10, 15 bucks for a pack of four. They seem to work really, really well. What? I was telling them about the hood pins. Oh. Yeah, maybe we'll just put the stock latch back on. Get your mind up. <laughs> Close. There it moves. I see this one in the hole. Oh, we just got to have a whole lot bigger. Oh, yeah. We got waller them out. We have pins. So far. Now this way or turn around the other way? I was wondering if they should be this way or like on an angle or sideways or something, but I think, I think like this is, well, let me see how they would look the other way. No, that's what I'm trying to do if I can get my guy do it. I think probably the other way. Yeah. All right. Hood pins are on. Ign ignore stuff like this. Fiberglass aftermarket hoods, they never seem to line up well. But just like that. Heck yeah. You're just making as much noise as you can. <laughs> Man, this thing looks good. Now I just gotta get the headlights in and plugged in and those little moldings down there that we still have to paint. Man, I could just stare at this thing all day though. And the thing that's really almost nostalgic for me is, uh, geez, probably nine years ago when I had the Galaxy. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, like nine, 10 years ago, I used to have a 62 Ford Galaxy 500 that uh, I'll put some pictures of, but uh, 
we had to do the body work on that and everything and rust repair whole nine yards needed quarters and we ended up painting it the same color <laughs> so uh i think that's fun a little bit of wet sanding here and there wheeling it out i think it'll be perfect for what it is all right got the engine out it's all ready to go back to them didn't take too long trees come back up right next to the newest tent out there on this side of it yeah okay well, it's be on could if we tried wouldn't be the first time yeah that's true <laughs> so this is 6-0 grungy grungy deal but it uh lost oil pressure they played with the o-ring in the uh pickup tube tried a couple other things clean the screen for the oil pressure sensor uh still have low oil pressure so they're just going to take it back go through the whole thing rebuild it and then once they're done with that we'll toss it back in the truck and it'll be perfect no more issues for the rest of its life and we get paid all right that's where it's going to live for who knows how long a week or two hopefully but let's go from one red truck to another red truck. This is the infamous mid-engine big tire S10. See those headers back there? This has been a really fun truck, but I think I'm ready to let go of it. <laughs> Haven't really done a whole lot with it. It was, uh, it was just fun. Saved it out of the field. It would have sat there for another, God, 20 years. Got it running, took it down the road. It is noisy. But, yeah, I think I'm ready to let this thing go. If anybody's interested in it, I think I'll put it up for sale. I think the way it is, turnkey, probably like 3000 If you guys don't want the motor, 2000 I don't think that's too bad of a price. I mean, the cab's in pretty good shape. It'd be a great burnout truck. Got a 12 bolt with, I think, 530 gears, strange axles, 35 spline, full spool. They are 31 by 14s or 32 by 14s. 32 by 14s. Turbo 400, long tail. Could use a short tail with a small drive shaft. It would help with the little vibration it has. 355, seems to run good. And then uh, up front here is like a seven gallon fuel cell give or take still all stock up here does have manual steering which is nice <laughs> and when we had it on the scales without a driver or anything in it i think it was like 2450 i want to say it was like 53 front but yeah i figured it's just been sitting for basically the whole summer whole year and uh the money from this i could buy the uh, floor pans and quarters and stuff for the 55 so if anybody's interested let me know it's been a fun truck it's fun to look at that's for sure but i think that's probably going to do it for today's video thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing clicking that bell and i will see you next time